You're watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, what you need to know if you're considering dental implants. My first guest is Dr. Carly, and uh, I want to thank you for coming to the show. Yeah, thank you for having me, Randy. All right, now before we get into today's topic, uh, for people that don't know you, uh, where, where's your practice, by the way? My practice is in Santa Barbara, California. Santa Barbara. Yeah. and. Uh, how long have you been practicing there? I've been practicing there for three years. I've had my practice, and I worked as an associate for one year at a cosmetic dentistry. So who is the typical patient that you see? What are the procedures you do? Randy, we see all sorts of patients in uh, Santa Barbara. We see from young to old. We see uh, teachers. We see uh, firemen. We see um, engineers. Um, we see uh, high technology uh, guys in Goleta. Okay. And uh, the procedures that we do, we uh, do all sorts of pr procedures um, from small uh, uh, little micro dentistry fillings to sealants. Uh, kids, we like to get um, in early to do uh, prevention. And uh, we see all ages. We do um, dentures uh, for patients. So you, we oh, do implants. Right? Yeah. Now, any other dentists in your family? I mean, when did you know you wanted to be a dentist? I, I decided to become a dentist when I was studying abroad in New Zealand. I was uh, studying at the University of Otago um, with the foreign exchange uh, program. And uh, we learned about uh, dentistry and controlling the uh, bacteria in the mouth. Um, I, I like the combination of art and science in dentistry. We can, if we can control you the... You think there's art to it, really? There is definitely. Definitely art. Some people don't 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 know that. They think just uh, teeth are there for function, but you'd be amazed at to how make it look natural. how we improve smiles and um, yeah, people want to have natural looking teeth. We can and we can do that with the newest technologies. Now you uh, now we're here to talk about dental implants. Okay, and I know you brought some photos, but I mean, uh, how important is a smile? I mean, obviously the, you're a dentist, so let, let me hear your take on it. Uh, a smile is very important. It's one of the first things that people look at when they see you. your smile and your eyes they look at. And uh, so it sets the stage for, for how people are going to perceive you. They're going to judge you based on that. Um, some people uh, that, that are concerned about their smile, they don't smile. And, and it's hard to read people like that. You, you don't know whether they're mad, Good angry, point. upset. Um, but, but they may just have a smile that they're embarrassed of. Okay, now we're talking about dental implants. Tell me about your background, your uh, expertise or your background and training in regard to dental implants. So um, in my training for dental implants, I went to the residency um, at, at the Veterans Hospital in San Francisco. I, I trained at UC San Francisco for dentistry, but then I did a one extra year of training where we uh, worked closely with oral surgeons, periodontists, prosthodontists, and uh, we were, we were uh, in the process of... Uh, placing implants, um, restoring them. So you've been doing implants, I mean, been in and around implants for several years. Oh yeah, at least at least six years. Six years. Mm -hmm. and, and why is it, help me understand this, why is it what used to take, uh, with my limited understanding here, but what used to take you guys about a year yeah. to do a dental implant, now can happen in a few visits. So uh, back before, they would stitch up the gums, uh, put it in the bone, and uh, and wait. And, and we thought that you couldn't disturb the implant or touch the implant at all for six months to a year. Okay. The newest technology, though, and, and the new type of implants that they have um, integrate to the bone much, much quicker. Uh, we also know that, that the um, bone around the implant is stimulated by uh, slight pressure. So w we have found that um, you can place a healing abutment and you can uh, sometimes, if the bone's dense enough, restore the implant the same day so it's placed. So teeth in a day is not an exaggeration. No, it's not an exaggeration. Really? Yeah, if there's dense bone, we can put an implant in and put a, uh, a temporary crown on it the, the same day the patient uh, comes in. In the old days, they didn't have the imaging. How has that helped you? I mean, has it changed that much? Now we have uh, CT scans. Um, that are able to show us three-dimensionally where the bone is. But before, it maybe had to be an exploratory surgery where the gums had to be opened up farther. Is that um, why it was more painful back then? Yes, it was. It, it was. There's more stitches involved, longer procedure. Now that we have uh, 3D imaging, we can actually know where the, the implant's going to go ahead of time and uh, surgically design it so that it, it goes exactly where it needs to go. Uh, we find the procedures uh, quick, it's painless. Painless or they don't complain about pain? Randy, they don't, they don't, they don't complain about uh, pain at all. They, they, uh, really? No. They, uh, I, I, I recommend painful. Yeah, I recommend that we give them uh, ibuprofen and take it for three days. Some of them only take it for one day um, just because we recommended it. But because there's no nerves in the bone, Randy, they don't feel um, okay. the pain. Now you do this guided 
We do a guided, guided. What does that mean? Uh, we do guided surgeries for all of our implants. Every implant that I put in in my office, we make a surgical guide, a, a stent they call it. And uh, what that does is it designs it based on where the implant should be um, at the very end stage, which is putting the crown on it. Uh, before we used to put the bone, the implants right where the bone was, only thinking about the bone. Now we're realizing that you need to design the implant so that the uh, top of the implant connects to where the best place for the crown would be. Because we do both procedures in the office, we're able to uh, design it so that the top of the implant is exactly where the crown should go and their bite will function uh, very nicely. Do, I mean, do, does every dentist use guides? Not every Across dentist uses guides, not every surgeon uses guides. It sounds, it sounds like an easier way to go. It is. Right? I, I, I definitely encourage any uh, dentist that, that, that hasn't used guides to use it on every single uh, implant case that I they mean, do. So you go to courses on dental implants? I mean, what, what, what training? I mean, what yeah. specific training? In my residency, I've placed many implants, but then I've also continued my education uh, in the ICOI, the International Congress of Oral Implantologists, and uh, I'll go to lectures with that. Also, I'm in the, the middle of receiving a my fellowship in the ICOI. And Which that is the implant what? I, the International Congress of Implantologists. Okay. So there will be implantologists from, from other countries. Actually, the implant was uh, invented in Sweden. I don't know if you know that by yeah. uh, Dr. Brennemark. And, uh, and some of the technology that they developed there, they brought over here. Um, we've advanced more um, in, in learning the different types of uh, the surfaces for the implant, and uh, now we, we have uh, many types of implants. Now, would you say that the, the future, you know, when you hear terms like no more dentures, that that's a future of dentistry? That, that And people that are watching this, we're talking about dental implants, and the dentures, I guess, benefit the most, but is that the future, no more dentures? I mean, no, no more, I mean, everything will be either fixed one day, Randy, n nobody will have dentures. That's that's It'll the future. It'll be fixed to some implants. People will be able to chew uh, without having dentures, without having a piece of plastic move around their mouth. So the categories of dental implants, uh, moving into the dental implants specifically, what are they? I mean, what are the different types of patients you see that come in for dental implants? So, Randy, there's uh, about four categories of dental implants. The, the first category is somebody who's missing just one tooth. They want to have that tooth replaced by an implant. The second category is patients who have, have been told or they, they know that maybe all of their teeth need to go. They, uh, they may be loose teeth. They, uh, they may have cavities in them. Uh, maybe it's just been neglect. Maybe there's been some grinding in the teeth and they need to to go. Uh, the third category is patients who uh, have had dentures for maybe you know 10 years and, and they, they're moving around now and they want to get them uh, fixed. So that's one other category. And the fourth category is uh, patients that um, maybe think they're too old for dentures. And you know 70, 80, that's actually young in Santa Barbara. Yeah, that's right. That's what I yeah. hear. And uh, that's the other category of patients that, that they come in. But I mean, 80 years old? Why would an 80-year-old want dental implants? An 80-year-old would want to have dental implants for the same reason that a young person would want to have dental implants. To eat, to chew, to smile. Somebody with a, with a denture, sometimes they can't taste the food as well. Um, by, the, by the time you're 80 and if you've had dentures, the denture's moving around. It's, it's loose in their mouth. They're, they're trying to put more and more adhesive and it's not staying in. They want the teeth to, to stay still. Um, can you imagine being with uh, your grandkid and uh, your your teeth are falling out? Do you hear those stories all, all the time? Really? Yeah. That's why patients come to see me. So they it's say, like the last truck. They say, Doctor Carly, I I don't want my denture moving in my mouth. Can can you help? And Randy, we can help. No. You know, Santa Barbara obviously not an inexpensive place to live. Are, are, I mean, are there people that you know they have it all? Suppose that okay, and they're wearing dentures. Yeah, there's people that, that have it all, and they may, they may even have loose teeth, and, and they haven't had them treated. So, well, I mean, why aren't they doing it then? I mean, if, it's, if, if the denture wears out there, and there's a lot of them, okay, probably mm -hmm. thousands yeah, in Santa there's, Barbara? there's over the, thousands, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, why aren't they all doing it? They don't know about the dental implants, Randy. They, they don't know how, uh, how simple it can be. They don't know that... Why? That why don't they know? Randy, these patients don't know because they don't go to the dentist. Okay, the, la good point, the last good point. time, the last time they were at the dentist was probably when they had all their teeth pulled and had a denture put in. That could have been ten years ago. Do you think that they want to go back to the dentist, remembering what it was like ten years ago? T ten years ago, um, they may have had a lot of pain with with. So they're uh, the afraid of the dentist. Man. You think as well? 
They, they are probably, almost all of them are afraid of the dentist. I mean, everybody, nobody likes a dentist, right? No, no yeah. I mean, do you hear that every yeah, day? We, we hear that. Uh, how do they say it? We how hear that a lot it? of times. Uh, they say, oh, Dr. Carly, I like you, but I hate going to the dentist. <laughs> and <laughs> it's not the favorite place for people to go to. <laughs> That's but, for sure. Yeah. They, um, they, or they say, no offense, Dr. Carly, but I hate going to the dentist. <laughs> um, and, but we try to make them as comfortable as, as we can. Uh, we offer three different levels of relaxation in my office, from uh, breathing breathing exercises to nitrous oxide to we can sedate patients also. Is that right? Okay, so you have a special certificate Yes, for sedation? I have my oral conscious sedation uh, permit um, that's uh, certified by the state of California to put people asleep for the dental procedure. Okay. And uh, th that that's highly popular with the patients who are really scared of the, of the dentist. Okay, so back to dental implants. Yeah. Okay, so the different categories. Start with the, 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 the single tooth. I mean, why mm -hmm. an, a dental implant over traditional dentistry? So the advantage of a uh, implant over a bridge, that would be the other option. Um, if you're missing one tooth, you can have it replaced by something that's removable, that comes in and out, or a dental bridge, or an implant. And with a dental bridge, the two teeth next to the tooth have to be ground down. Okay. We have to grind them down and put a crown on them. And when you have an implant... How long does that last, by the way? The dental bridge can last 5 to 10 to 20 years. If you get 20 years, that's, that's great. Um, the reason they don't last very long is because cavities can form underneath them. They're hard to, to floss because you have to um, thread a needle underneath them. Okay. Um, with dental implants, you can floss it just like a normal tooth. Uh, the teeth next to it are easier to clean. Isn't it like just getting your tooth back? Right? It's, I mean, it feels yeah. like a tooth. Some people forget that they had an implant after they've had it. Do you think it. it prevents future tooth loss? Oh, I know it prevents future tooth loss. If you get cavities under those teeth that are next to the, to the bridge, if you had a bridge, um, you could possibly lose those teeth or have root canals. Now, I've had a guy come on my program and he said, Randy, with all the, uh, all the money people spend to save a tooth that should be you know, pulled out, I'm mm -hmm. paraphrasing, it's a lot less expensive just to get your tooth back with a dental implant. Yeah. In the long run, based on how long mm -hmm. these things last, mm -hmm. is it less, in your opinion, to get a dental implant? Yeah. Well, if you think about the, the cost of a bridge, uh, it may be a little bit less, maybe you know, five hundred thousand dollars less than an implant, but it, it's it's not worth it because you may have to do it again five, ten years down the line. So the next category of uh, dental implant patients is uh, one that's missing uh, two or three teeth in the back of their mouth. Uh, I brought this example here, okay, Randy. Okay. You can see um, this patient's missing their back teeth. Uh, they have to get a partial denture that's flopping, flopping all around. All right. Um, the, okay, so that's what they actually look like. This is, I brought an exa uh, exact uh, replica there, yeah, of, of what they look like. A lot of people wear partial dentures. Like um, three blocks of phony teeth? Yeah, you, you, you may, may not know. You may just see a little bit of metal, you know, a little bit of metal around their teeth. Um, when we make partial dentures, we like to make them of metal so they're real stable for the patient. Um, and, and these are great Great treatment. These have been made for many years. You do that. You do that. We do do that. We we provide that for patients if if that's their request. But the preference for me is to give them dental implants. They don't have something that's flopping around. Uh, they can. Uh, they won't lose this. They uh, they won't um, have to take it out and clean it at night with uh, dental implants. It feels like a tooth. It, it looks like a tooth. Uh, they can chew just like a tooth. Sometimes patients will will chew on gum and this may pull out. So the other advantage to having dental implants, Randy, uh, instead of a removable partial like this, is it stops the process of the bone receding. If you look at the bone on this side, there's a lot more bone than on this side. The reason the patient lost bone is because there's no implants in there or teeth to stimulate the bone the to stay there. The pressure gets it. Okay. Yeah, it's like uh, uh, somebody in, that's in a wheelchair for a long time or they, they broke their leg, their muscle will actually atrophy. Atrophy means decrease in size. Okay. Uh, same thing with the bone in the in the jaw, that'll decrease in size if it's not being used. All right, okay, so the next level then, category. The, next, the denture wear. What yeah, about the, the denture wear? Then there's the denture wear. Uh, some patients have been told that they need to have all their teeth out um, or maybe the, all their teeth hurt. Maybe they're sensitive to cold, maybe they're every time they bite on them they, they hurt. I've had many patients come in complaining of that and uh, they know that their teeth need to go. Um, those patients come in and they have two options. They can have all their teeth extracted and have dentures, the, the traditional method where dentures move. The other option is, that, is to have dental implants. They can have dental implants placed in, and sometimes at the same time. Is it true, by the way, two dental implants snap in, snap out? 
The, the simplest uh, denture to connect implants is one to two, two implants. It's, it clicks in, clicks out. I actually brought an example here okay. of a denture that clicks in we'll take a look and at clicks out. Sure. Okay, so this is, uh, this is like a lower... That's the lower jaw. So this right here. Uh -huh. see that's, that's the, take a look the at that. denture itself that, uh, that clips in clips to in two implants. Right in the lower you, jaw? Yeah, two? you can see the, the gold connectors there and the inside. And this is pretty snug? Very snug. Patients love when I show that when patients come in to find out about you know implants and dentures. Uh, I'll show them this model and they like to, to see it and, and look at it and touch it and feel what it feels like. Uh, patients that have um, had dentures for a while, when they, when they hear this click and they feel that click, they can imagine Is how it true, secure it will be. You told me on the phone. You said sometimes you have to adjust it because they can't even pull them out with their hands. Yeah, they they uh, if we if we connect it, we have different connectors actually that can connect it um, with different strengths. And uh, sometimes we'll need to decrease the connection because it's so secure that that uh, they have difficulty pulling. So there's it out. no adhesive. I mean, I mean, obviously no adhesive need, need at all. Yeah. Okay. We may put the uh, adhesive companies out of business if we do too many implants. <laughs> is, that, is that right? Okay. Yeah. So with, uh, with okay, so denture wearers, uh, and, and, and you could be in your 70s, 80s, 90s, and still have enough bone to get dental implants. Oh yeah, we, we put two implants in an 82 year old, um, probably three or four years ago, and uh, we do implants in, in patients that age all the time. Uh, we take a x-ray, a, a, maybe a 3D scan, um, and determine whether they have enough bone. Okay, then you brought pictures. What are we looking at here? Tell me about this. So uh, this is Paul, and uh, uh, I like to bring this picture because... Uh, he looks like a friendly guy. He does look like a friendly guy. You wouldn't know that, though, because uh, he doesn't smile very often, or he used to not smile I mean, is it often. tough to get him to smile? It is very tough to get him to smile, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, uh, he just hadn't been smiling for a while. And, and the reason is, is because he was embarrassed. He, he didn't want to show his teeth. Is there a lot of people like that? There are a lot of people like that, Randy. Uh, so, sometimes uh, you, may, you may think that the person is um, sad or, or just quiet um, or, or maybe angry, but, but it may be that they're just embarrassed of their smile. And this guy didn't want dentures. Paul, Paul did not. I mean, not. he knew his teeth had to go? Paul knew that, that he didn't know what would happen. Sometimes people uh, know that they probably have to have many teeth removed. Um, for Paul, we were actually able to save some of his teeth and uh, replace the other teeth with uh, uh, dental implants, the molars with dental implants and the anterior teeth. Molars are what? They're, they're uh, the, back the back teeth, yeah. Okay. So those are the, the teeth that are most important for chewing. So. Uh, Paul would tell you that he, he was able to chew much, much better after when we replaced all the teeth that were were. Uh, Let's take a look at the out. after. So the after is right here. Interesting. So, you, so those, all of the front teeth are dental implants. All of right? the uh, back teeth are dental implants, and all of the front teeth is a dental uh, prosthesis. Okay. A okay. dental uh, bridge. So now eating, chewing. So his eating and eating. chewing is great, but, but that, that's not the most uh, exciting thing for Paul. Most exciting thing for, for Paul is he can go to the grocery store, smile at the checker, smile at people that he, he sees in the grocery store, and it's, it's changed his life. He, I mean, do they tell you that, that like even in the grocery store they were embarrassed? Oh, yeah. The patients uh, tell me that all the time, that, that um, you know, I, I, I was embarrassed to smile very big. I, I, I wasn't sure what people would think of me um, if, if I showed my teeth. Do you show, I mean, do you see changes in their personality? I mean, after you oh, get it yeah. done? Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you can tell from, from Paul. Um, okay. Uh, he got healthier. Um, he, uh, he started working out more. He uh, went for walks more. He, uh... He, he definitely uh, got much healthier. Um, uh, people are excited about their, their new look. They, they look younger usually. Um, it, it takes off 10 to 20 years. Sometimes I'll, I'll tell people that. I say, we can provide something for you, Randy, uh, or I tell a patient, we can provide something for you that will take 20 years off your life. They, they laugh at, at first, <laughs> but then when, when they have okay. it done, they, they realize it. Uh, their, their spouses tell them that. A denture wearer watching this, what's the turnaround time? In, a, in an ideal situation, they're in their 70s, mm -hmm. how soon could they have something that, that you know, a fixed set of teeth? Randy, we, we recommend that patients uh, don't chew anything uh, hard for the first month that they okay. have the dental implants. Some patients, uh, they tell us... Uh, but in one month, could they have their... Oh, yeah. After, okay. with, within a month, patients are able to, to chew um, almost 
any food they imagine. Do they come in telling after you what they're eating? Us. Yeah, patients like uh, they come, <laughs> come in and tell me. I had a patient the, the other day who said, um, Dr. Carly, I'm so glad that, that I have my implants. Um, I used to have to look across the table at my husband eating a steak, uh, eating a salad, and, and be jealous. Um, my, my patient, she, she, couldn't, uh, she couldn't eat salad or steak um, really? without the implants. She had dentures before. Are denture wearers, I mean, pretty much all like this? Oh, yeah. Some, yeah. Really? If you talk to any denture wearer, they would tell you some food that they're not able to chew. Okay. Not able to I eat. know some denture wearers. I never hear them yeah. complain about anything. No, they don't want to complain. They don't want you to know that they have uh, okay. dentures. Okay. Yeah. Mo most patients have, you, don't, you may not know half the people who have dentures. Um, no, nobody wants to pull out their teeth in front of you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, at 70 or 80, I mean, if you're dating at 75 years old, you don't want dentures in your mouth. No, whether you're dating or whether you have grandkids coming around, um, you, you don't want uh, people to know they have okay, dentures. Okay, so two implants, snap in, snap out, no more adhesive. What's the, the next level up for the denture wearers? Um, the next level up for denture wearers is to get four to six implants. Um, the, the advantage of four to six implants over two is less rocking. Um, as far as eating foods, they can eat, eat uh, uh, all the foods um, in the upper jaw when we do all the foods like what I mean I mean can they eat corn on the cob they can eat corn on the cob they can eat steak they can uh, really? bite into bread now the harder breads now uh, once they have the, uh, the the implants also the advantage of having uh, more than two implants especially on the upper jaw uh, Randy is that that the, the roof of the mouth does not have to be covered by a denture anymore interesting okay yeah w what the roof of the mouth is important for is taste and temperature uh, feeling. Uh, you, you take for granted, Randy, uh, yeah. drinking coffee uh, uh, or wine or, or, or wine and fully tasting it, fully fully smelling it. Um, I mean, did they tell you that, that they could taste foods better? Oh, yeah. The, the patients say, wow, it's, I, I've been missing uh, tasting that. Some patients actually, um, they know what it's like um, to not have a denture because they'll, they'll chew some things at home um, when they're not in public without their dentures. Okay. That's how poor dentures are uh, for patients. Is, is that when they're at home, denture? they eat without dentures? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Is there such thing as a happy denture wear, by the way? No. <laughs> really? I, well, I, I mean, uh, sure, maybe, maybe, maybe you could find, you know, you know, one or two patients, but, uh, but no. If if patients knew what having, if they were a, able to try oh, it out. If they knew they couldn't it, go back. Yeah. If if we gave a trial period for three days for no implants, no, none of the patients would would go back. Fixed. I mean, mm -hmm. but I mean, people want. Fixed. Yeah. Not, something that doesn't come in and out. Yeah. How many implants? For people you? want fixed. Um, six implants can uh, make sure that patients have a, a, a bridge instead of a denture. Okay. Um, and a bridge is is basically a is teeth that are connected to a uh, metal so, or so titanium looks, substructure. So it looks like a denture. Exactly. Right. But but I mean it's 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 fixed in the mouth. Exactly. Like a set yeah. of teeth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it feels like they're regular teeth. It feels exactly like regular teeth. Well, yeah. I mean, it, they don't have to re take it out and in and out every night. That's the ideal situation. That's the the top of the line uh, premium um, service we can provide for patients. Okay, what do you call that? It's just called a fixed. We, we call that a fixed um, bridge on implants. Okay, so six implants. Do you think people count their teeth? And think, oh my goodness, I, I, I can't afford dental implants. Because you're yeah. saying just two implants yeah. would change yeah. their life with a denture. Work. Yeah. Some people, yeah, if they count their teeth and think of, uh, you know, 16 uh, teeth on the bottom, 16 on the top. Um, if implants, are, you know, anywhere, you know, anywhere from two to three thousand dollars, then then they're adding it up, and they're they're thinking it's over fifty thousand dollars to to have teeth replaced with the implant. But um, we can connect it to two or six instead of 16. That yeah. that cuts the cost. My, you know, I, I told you this. My father just recently had a denture mm -hmm. that. Uh, it, well, he just had dental implants for something snapped in and snapped out. Mm -hmm. And he said, um, and by the way, if you're just tuning in, I mean, this is a real interview. I mean, I'm not, none of this is rehearsed. Uh, and I'm not endorsing you, by the way. But he said that, Randy, the thing that the dentists don't do a good enough job at, at talking about is that it doesn't hurt. As far as um, uh, pain goes, yeah, the, yeah, the Ran procedure. Randy, uh, we tell people to pay, take the pain meds and they maybe take one day of it. Uh, the, the pain is, uh, there, there isn't uh, much pain at all. Maybe a little bit of soreness. He also said he should have done it years ago. It. Do you hear that a lot? He said, oh. I, I should have, I didn't know about it. Yeah, I, I hear that all the time. I, I hear patients He's saying. He's 77 years old, yeah. Yeah, I, say, I hear patients saying, um, I, I would have loved to be able to chew like this 10 years ago. If, if I would have known about it, I would have had it What done. do you like, of all areas of dentistry, do you think the, 
the denturer that gets something fixed or permanent in their mouth is the happiest group of patients? They're the ones who have the biggest change um, of, of life and uh, enjoyment in uh, eating, talking, uh, socializing. Um, so, so yeah, I definitely agree with that. We are out of time, by the way. This is good stuff. Time for one more photo. One, one batch. Pick okay, your best yeah. one here. Okay, uh, yeah. I just want to show uh, Tracy. Uh, she was uh, embarrassed about her smile. She, wow, what's she, going on uh, there? She had uh, many cavities. Um, she uh, wanted to get her, her teeth fixed. She was embarrassed. Uh, um, she worked in a, in a setting where she sees people every day. Um, checking in, checking out. to hide out. those teeth, by the way. And she, yeah, she would smile, you know, a real Mouth. small smile, you okay. know, as small as, as small as she could. Um, uh, she told me that that she kn she knew she had to have them done, and she she had to have them done for a while, Randy. But um, finally, she got the encouragement from her uh, spouse and from from her family to come in and see me, and we were able to take care of her. So, what'd you do for her? So Randy, um, she had to have those teeth go. Okay. Uh, she had to have them removed. We, uh, she didn't want to have a denture that would flop in and out. So what we did is we designed a denture that would snap in and snap out. That was very stable. So secured for her. by dental implants. The secured by dental implants connected to the uh, teeth. Let's take a look at that after. Yeah. I'll show you the after. Very nice. <laughs> Randy, just look at the side by side. Look at look at how uh, excited she is. How more confident she is. Um, she's not afraid to smile. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Final message: Somebody watching this, uh, they're a denture wearer. They're missing teeth. They don't want dentures. What's their first move? I would say come in for a, a consult. Um, ask your dentist about the the dentures, um, about okay. the implants. Okay. Um, uh, don't be afraid. That, that's what I would say. For a simple consult, we can tell you whether you're a candidate, where you have uh, areas where you could have implants, and uh, how it would benefit you. Okay, good. I want to thank you so much for coming on the show. Very interesting. Good stuff. Thank you. Thanks. You've been watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. If you would like to see this interview online, you can visit our website at wellnesshour.com. You just put in Dr. Carly or Dental Implants Santa Barbara. For now, I wish you good health.